Well, I guess normally you guys would see me at the shop, but today I'm playing hooky with my dad, doing a little fishing. So we'll get to the shop, just, it'll be a little bit. Well, looks like we got one on the hook. Let's see what we got. Still waiting on it. Fight it, Dad, fight it. Don't let it beat you. I don't see it yet. Oh, it's run over here. It's over here somewhere. It's gone over by the dock. There it is, I see it. It's not as big as you think. But it looks like a little redfish. Maybe a redfish. Or a jack. Nope, you got a little jack. That's why he's fighting so hard. <laughs> Bring it up. Pull your, pull your pole up. There you go. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> nice little fish. Got a little jack. They're a really strong fighter, so. Whatever it is, I don't know. I think it's a jack type fish. It's, they're just really strong fighters. All right, let's, uh, let's get that off of there. Way to go. Look, we just made a friend. He is going to have a nice meal on us. All right, guys, all good things must come to an end, and uh, we're going to get back to the shop. Caught a couple of uh, fish, fed the crane, and not a bad day. So, well, at least a bad morning. <laughs> we're going to go get some work done in the shop now. See you there. All right, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations. And uh, today what we're going to do is we've got all the gauges pulled out of the dash. We're in the process of restoring the dash. And we pulled everything out of it, everything. And uh, so today we want to go through all of our gauges, clean them, and then make sure they all work right, okay? So that's, that's what we're doing today. We're going to bring you along because uh, I think this is good information to get out there for anybody else who's looking to do this. These gauges are gonna be very similar to the gauges that you'd have in multiple cars of this era. So I think it's important uh, to get it out there and uh, we're gonna have a little fun on the way, all right? First thing we're gonna do is we're going to go along and just try to clean these up as best we can. Uh, make sure there's nothing uh, you know, interfering with these, these uh, needles being able to move uh, just and get them cleaned up in general because we're going to need to put them back in and we don't want, you know, we want all that to look nice and clean. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, cleans it up nice. You running out? All right, let me get you something else. Okay, so now we got something else to clean it with. There we go. Cleaned it up nicely. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. All right, there we go. There's one. We're going to go ahead and we'll get the rest of these cleaned up. And then we'll bring you back in and we'll get ready to start figuring out how to test these. Okay, we got all of these things cleaned. All right, so there's the uh, amp meter and and then we got our temperature fuel and oil all of these are cleaned up now uh and ready for us to test so what we've done is we've set up our amp meter uh for the, our first test so i'm going to walk you through how we have this set up so that you can see how how this works so first, first thing is you have to have your power source. And right now we've got uh, my shop battery. Okay, and so when you're testing an amp meter, you want to run through the positive side of the battery. You, you don't ever wanna, you don't put the negative in the loop at all, okay? So the negative we've got right now coming off the negative side of the battery here, and it's going straight to our power, or our, our load source, which in this case is our two lights. 
And that right here, as you can see, we've got hooked to our, our ground. So our ground goes straight uh, to the battery ground. Okay, that's not gonna change. Now what we've done to test our, our load is we're running over here from our positive side and this white wire, all that, it, uh, it just came off. <laughs> I get hooked back up. All that's doing is jumping uh, the two leads here to light both lights so we get a, a, a big enough draw to see it. Um, anyway, so that is just a jump. But this is the wire we're more concerned with. We're running from our positive side of the lights to the amp meter, okay? Then we're coming out of the amp meter, and then that is going to run straight to the battery, okay? And right now, it's not hooked up until we're ready to actually do the test. Okay, so let me set up our jump again real quick, and then we'll test it. I'm going to hold this to the positive side, okay? And when I do, we'll see what happens up here, all right? So I'll keep the camera up here so we can see what happens up here. Watch, watch what the uh, meter does. And here we go. There you go. You see it come down and go back up. Come down, come back up. And you see we got both lights coming on. That's our draw. And there you go. All we're doing is putting our draw in line with... Series. Or in, yeah, in series with our amp meter. And then what happens is the amp meter is going to register and uh, indicate how much amperage is flowing. Uh, you know, what's required to light that light. And that's not a real you know, massive test, two lights, but it was enough to get the needle, the needle here to show a draw. Okay guys, so before I move on from the amp gauge, I wanted to, sh I just wanted to show you um, what it looks like when you have a charge going to the system. So you have a positive amps. All right, so what we've done is we've put, we put the amp meter between the battery charger, okay? So the lead here, here's our, here's our uh, coming off the uh, leads coming off the battery charger. The positive side we have going to the amp meter. Then we're coming out of the amp meter with the same one we used last time, which I will touch to the positive side of the battery. And I do that, the amp meter should pick up the charge that's going into the battery. So let's see if it goes this direction this time. There you go. It's not a lot, but we're not also not getting a lot of amperage from the battery charger. Just enough to show that we're actually getting a positive swing. There you have it. We have tested this to show a draw, and we've had it also show uh, a charge. How about that? <laughs> Which probably not far off from what you would see in the car, right? All right, so I think we figured out that this thing is working both ways. We can show a positive, we can show a negative draw, and I am happy with that, that we now have a, a functioning gauge. All right, so let's move on to the other three gauges and see what we have there. Yeah, we're gonna be testing this, uh, all these meters, and uh, I, I, I brought in my, my variable power supply, and uh, we're gonna give a, a variable voltage to the meter to see how well it runs. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, we don't know what voltage you'll move it, but we'll just we'll start and see how it goes. That one. Got to make sure I got the white one. The right one's on. Don't say. All right. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll apply some vo a low a low voltage mm -hmm. and see how. Well, I think this uh, this one has a fuel gauge, so they're a little bit slow. Let's bring it up to about two volts and see what we got. Huh? There it goes. It's moving. Going up to about three. Don't want too much voltage in there. So I want to make sure it's working. Yep, there it goes. Now when we turn the voltage down, the gauge should start to recede. Oops, wrong way. 
Let's go back to one. Yeah, slowly re retreats. So that gauge is working great. Everything looks good on that. I think we got a good gas gauge. We're now uh, testing the uh, temperature gauge. Now I just got to apply these leads and then we'll apply the voltage slowly to that too. It shouldn't take, it should work fine and we'll find out. And let's bring that up so you can see it. And I'll bring the gauge up to about two volts and see what we got. We're running at two volts right now. This gauge is our a bit on the slow side for, for responding, but they do respond. There's a four volt. She's going up nicely. It's obvious this gauge works. So let's lower it down. And Make sure it drops all the way down. And it looks like it's going to go all the way. So that gauge works. Now we're going to do the oil, oil pressure gauge. That should pretty much be the last one we're checking. Let's see what we got here. Positive, negative, I mean. We get the positive on here. Okay, positives on there. Let's bring her up to about two volts. And there it goes. We have a uh, oil pressure gauge working fine. It's nice to know they work before we put them in. Because they're not easy. <laughs> Get in and out. It's going up to heat. That's good. Let's bring it back down. Make sure it goes all the way back. Looks like it's recovering nicely. We have another good gauge. So that was the last of the gauges. They all work. So all we got to do now is put them in. <laughs> all right, guys. So, uh, one last thing to do before these gauges are ready to be stored away until we're done with the uh, dash and ready to put them back in. So if you look, all the, you know, you have probably noticed it with all the testing that we were doing, but the uh, needles aren't very orange anymore. So I'm going to paint the, uh, the face of those to bring back that orange color. And let's see if I can do it without messing everything up. I doubt it. All right, so uh, you can go to Walmart and pick your your color palette of choice, your paintbrush of choice. This is mine. Probably a little bit finer one would have been nice, but this will work. <laughs> it dried out. Um, I, I need to go to Walmart and pick my color palette of choice because this is the one we picked up when I did my brother's Volkswagen. It's dry. <laughs> and it's dry. <laughs> it's, it's, look, like the, uh, uh, when you go to Dairy Queen and get a blizzard and they hold it upside down. <laughs> it's never, it's never that easy, is it? All right, we'll catch you on the other side of the, the uh, Walmart run. Right. Look what I got. Got me some paint from the Walmart. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't dried up, so we're going to go with orange. Boy, these needles on these things are super sensitive. There you go. Doesn't look too bad. Just 
two, one more. You see it's kind of junky in there. We're gonna fix her up. Well, let me show you. There you go. There we go. We did it, we got it done. Gauges are all checked out, tested, cleaned up, painted the needles. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we're gonna do on this video. I uh, kept it short on purpose. I wanted to really just narrow down onto those gauges and testing them and all those things uh, for others out there who may, may be looking for that. And if you lump it into the big, big dash video, then uh, you know, it gets buried and people can't find it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it guys. And I will see you guys on the next uh, video. All right.